God's capacity for David was to do the impossible, to kill a giant. Verse 48, as the Philistines moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him. Reaching into his bag and taking out a stone, he slung it and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell face down on the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. Without a sword in his hand, he struck down the Philistine and killed him. Capacity is all about God. He uses us to bring glory and honor to himself. He desires to reveal our capacity to do more than we think or imagine. David could have allowed fear and anxiety to paralyze him. He could have dismissed the task as someone else's responsibility. And he could have taken the glory for himself. But David understood the capacity of God to glorify himself and provide for his people. In conclusion, are you living at God's capacity for your life? Are you tired of living in your own strength? Think for a minute about the capacity God put in beach sand. It can be used to make concrete or the brains of a smartphone. God loves you and has built so much capacity in you to grow, learn, and create. He can bring new people and circumstances into your life. He puts gifts and talents within you for his glory. And he can open doors of opportunity that reveals his capacity for you. Begin to sow seeds of generosity in your life. Give of your time, your treasures, and your talents. And remember, key one, that capacity is limited by fear and worry.